Now in today's episode of something that you may already know, but if you didn't, I would tune in to find out. I'm gonna take you through a little bit of a tip for the back squat that may help you shift either a couple of extra kilos or get them extra few reps. So stay tuned. Now when it comes to the barbell back squat, a lot of people who train assume that it's just the lower body exercise. But what they fail to come to terms with is that you connect your upper body to your lower body, you're probably gonna get a lot more out of the back squat. Now we know that we're only as strong as our weakest link. And if we come to performing a set on the barbell back squats and our upper body starts to collapse under the load, you may fail to hit either the load that we're lifting or the certain repetitions. But how can we fix this? I'm gonna take you through two examples. Example number one, I'm probably gonna collapse under the load at the upper back because I haven't engaged the barbell and connected it to the lower body. Example number two, I'm gonna engage and you'll probably see both the upper and lower body connected during the whole movement. Now we might exaggerate a little bit on the not so good example, but this can definitely happen when you go under some serious load or you get towards them challenging repetitions. So we're gonna go through example number one right now. If you take the bar off, yeah, you might just collapse at the upper back. I was just starting to get up and we start to lose that spinal position. The upper back starting to round and you might even get to a stage when you start to get towards the end of the fingers if your mobility is a little bit restricted. So we tend to see people with the fingers on the end of the barbell and maybe the upper back is a little bit limited to what they can bring their hands in for the shoulder mobility. And um, so if this happens, yeah, what we want to try and go to is a more engaged position if possible, or take it out a further distance to try and lock that barbell in. So example number two, which hopefully looks a little bit better. As soon as I take that barbell off the rack and go into the stance, I'm going to think about pulling the barbell into me. I'm trying to keep my elbows more towards the waist rather than out in here on the end of the fingers, okay? Once I've got them locked in, I've got them in that comfortable position, I can pull it down. You notice them shoulder braids are pretty much pinned together. Yeah, your back's nice and upright, and as I'm lowering down, I'm pulling that barbell into my body, and it pretty much stays nice and aligned through the whole movement. And I haven't got to worry about the upper body collapsing under the load during my reps or going for a certain weight. Now this is just one small piece of the puzzle to help improve the back swap, but if it did help, make sure you like the video, leave a comment if you struggle with anything considering the barbell back squat or trainer, and hopefully we got a few more of these videos in the future to help out.